Well, hello, welcome to this week's ITL. It is a rainy day today. It is, <laughs> it is a rainy day today. Oh, I know, it's Sunday too. I was like, Mike, get your priorities straight. Oh, I really need to get it going earlier, this, earlier in the weekend. Not, not on Sundays. But hey, it's my fault, huh? Oh. oh. Couldn't be avoided this week. Couldn't be avoided. I ended up, uh, it was just one of those weeks. I mean, there's no sense in explaining it. We all have them. It's called life. Life. Oh. Uh, we'll sit here and have a chooch and talk about it. <laughs> well, I did order a new set of uh, bar end mirrors for the GOAT. Yeah, some of, them, some of you don't like bar end mirrors on a motorcycle. I actually like it on the GOAT. It, they, you see a lot better compared to the stock KLR mirrors that were on the GOAT. Originally, the, uh, I mean, better than me seeing nothing but my arms. That was what was originally was stock. Done but shoulders and arms. That was three quarters of the mirror. So I changed to bar end mirrors and uh, it was a lot better. But what it comes down to is uh, I gotta charge. My light just went out, but I gotta charge it up. But what it comes down to it is uh, uh, people. If you're one of them, I mean, I'm talking, if you're not one of these people, don't listen to this, but if you're one of them, listen to this. If you see a motorcycle out in public, that is not your personal invitation to go over and act like it's a jungle gym. I mean, you don't walk up to it and crawl all over it. Or get so close to it, you whack your arm on it or whatever. I mean, crying out freaking loud. I mean, it's not a child freaking ride either. Stay the heck away from it. It's not your property. It's somebody else's personal property. Because, I, I mean, I don't know how many different times, over and over and over again, I'd walk out and my freaking mirrors are way out of, knocked way out of whack. Just looking at the sky, looking at the ground, looking at the freaking fuel tank, looking at everything, anything and everything. I'm like, jeez, oh man. <clears throat> like, what do you expect? People don't respect other people's property. But I got a set of bar in mirrors that they just don't, they won't be just be bounced around quite so bad. They will fold in, but they go in direct and they just, you can snap them back. So it'll be easier just to find that spot. Because you're all, you're fine, you're looking for that one sp your spot back after you trying to readjust it in. You're, it seems like you're never finding their spot back again. It's, you're taking an hour adjusting your mirrors back in. The whole time you're thinking, oh, if I can put my boot up somebody's rear end. Jeez, old man. And then people ask me, so, well, why do you ride your bike there? Like, well, why do you ride your, drive your car there? I mean, 
It's a dumb question. First place, a lot of times, I should have to answer that question. I shouldn't have to answer that question. You know what, I'm not going to. That irritates me so much, I'm not going to. Uh. But yeah, it's... This weekend, this week's been a busy, real big, really busy week. And just getting things done, finalizing things. You can see, I'm growing my stubbles. Gotta get rid of them. It bothered me. It bothered me. I haven't gotten my fence up yet. I get the shrubbery down. Get it, get it gotten rid of. I gotta get my radio antennas up. And also, I've got a uh, kind of a cattle fencing lean to I'm putting together. It's just for the winter, for winter time, uh, basically just for lawn machinery stuff. I want to pack away. It'll work. It'll work, I say. But I uh, got some other things I need to put away too, like the uh, uh. Dishwasher and you didn't install? Yeah, I got a dishwasher and you didn't install. And, uh, dead bits, odds and ends. But it's piling on for me. Nothing new, nothing that's all new. This just, is just coming from one place and installing into another place. And. Dishwasher is actually a portable dishwasher, and it's going into turning into an under counter dishwasher because this house is an under counter has under counter setup, which I like it better. Anyway, oh, I've actually ran into the world of LED spotlights. They've been around for a long time. But, uh, yeah, it's, they, they're working really good. <laughs> oh, I forgot to set my phone on that do not disturb. See how well it works? <clears throat> that didn't work. My allergies are kicking. My allergies are kicking. Oh, we have, uh, the Vietnam Veterans Wall. We have one of those. We'll be moving it through uh, one town to the next here in August, and I will be uh, helping out through that with the goat. And uh, yeah, that'll be around August 27th, their time period. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'll be proud to be doing that. I'll be rep representing my uh, my father. So fought during the Vietnam War, and, uh, yeah, I figured, and I figured, you know, I was born in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, until 1970, a little bit of a tidbit there, you can figure out how old I am, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed with that, a little bit of a Marine Corps brat there. But yeah, it's been slow, wet, but very enjoying. One day at a time, it's beautiful, beautiful weather, even though it's damp. It's very comfortable though. 
that God's given unto me. Sponsor so Mike, hoping you all, you, all have a great day, great week, signing out.